Okay, I want to show you guys how you can set up your starting base in this game to make it safe and more defensible. Let's just uh, begin a new game. Um, I'm choosing beginner. Well, most, guy, uh, most people will tend to build their base where they can cover up much sponsor countries. So, USA practically isn't bad because US is the, the sponsor which pays you most, but mm, it's not that good after all. You can cover all Europe from move your first base. You have a lot of spa uh, sponsor countries around here, and it's quite good. Asia and such stuff, you really can scrap out. They don't pay much in the beginning, and they won't mm, pay much later. When your funding increases. So you can build your first base in Europe. I normally recommend building it in the Alps. Around here in Switzerland or what I saw lately is here on the island of Creta, which isn't that bad too. Because you can cover up uh, North Africa and Egypt and a great part of Russia. And also the whole EU sponsor countries, so we will do this. I recommend uh, giving your bases a uh, little bit logical names, like um, the country or the continent they are on, or the function. So, this is our starting base, and uh, the starting base has all what you need in the beginning. It has a, a radar, it has some storages, it has a laboratory for research, Workshop for construction of new weapons, tanks, and other stuff. For your people, the horse. Now we have three hangars. This one up here has the Sky Ranger, our troop transporter for ground assaults and recovery missions. And terror missions. These two down here, they house our interceptors which are going into dogfight with UFOs and try to smash them out of the sky or shoot them down. So the problem is, if you're getting an alien retaliation mission, which is not that much, unlikely, in higher difficulty settings, when you shut down a lot of UFOs, then they will come to you with a battleship, sooner or later. First, a lot of scouts were coming and you can shoot them down. Doesn't matter the point of the game, you were getting a battleship. And this battleship, and it's not unlikely that they detect your base and that they will attack you. And they will enter the base if you can't shut down the UFO in their landing. They will enter the base through the hangars and through the access lift. And this means with this setup you have three points here, here, here and here where they enter your base and you don't stand any chance. They will smash you from three sides. So we need to build this base a little bit otherwise. The best setup you can do is build a hangar up here, another one up here, and later scrap these two. So we have only one direction where they can come from. Down here. And you can set up your force around here and pull them back. We will also dismantle these living quarters later and build other ones down here. Okay. <laughs> 
So far so good. As you see we have a laboratory which can house uh, 50, 50 scientists and we only have one living quarters if we scrap this and this uh, build. So we need to build another one so that we can house 100 people all over. I recommend using 50 scientists, 44 engineers at the starting base and 6 soldiers. The soldiers will be supported by tanks very heavily. And oh, we also need some new stores. And very much important is this one here. Alien containment, which allows you to capture aliens alive. Which is very useful to in when you interrogate them. They will open up new research objects in the tech tree. Uh, that's quite useful. And we also will build a large radar. Okay, so we have rebuilt our base and our fonts are nearly depleted. Mm, but it's not to worry about, we will get money all from UFA, UFO ground missions. Okay, hmm. let's take a look about the soldiers. Oh, this one look good. We're keeping. He has good reactions and good shooting. Reactions is very important. I uh, will make him a scout. This means he will be the first one who will enter the UFO or entering a door of a building or such stuff. To sweep it out. To sweep it out. And the part about reactions is. The more hard reactions you have, you see, if you are entering the uh, UFO, then you have two things that count very much. The first thing is how many time units you have and your reaction. If you have full time units and, and stepping to the door, you have this guy has 46, uh, 56 time units. If he steps to the door, he has 48 left, and he has a reaction of 52. So most likely, flutters, sectoids, snake man won't fire at him directly, and he can take a peek around, take a look how much of them are in there, and can step out again, normally without being uh, getting shot. That's what reaction time is about. Very important. Let's take a look on the, on the others. Mm. This one's pretty good too. Mm. I think you can keep it. Oh, this one's pretty good too. Mm. But he's very weak. Mm. That's nice. This one needs to go. Keep that one too. Whoa. Whoa, this is nice. Great. Uh, this one's pretty shitty. Let's see how much we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh? Oh, this is pretty good. We have six soldiers in the beginning. Which are pretty good. That was through the other guys. Oh, <laughs> Let's see what we have here again. Mm, this one has pretty good reactions too. This guy here will be the sniper because he has a very great uh, accuracy and will hit around the map. Mm. I'll make this one my second scout. Oh, this one's scout. 